Happy Easter everyone, Star Dog here. Today I want to do a recap of 2017 Collegiate Elite. I broke that Friday, but the video just ran absurdly long. You know, I started rambling about, you know, the class, and then I started rambling about some, you know, a person within the community that I thought was a scammer or whatnot. It just went pretty, uh, pretty long, and I couldn't cut it down. I was out of town yesterday. I'm back though now, and I want to give you guys a recap of this. And um, we'll bust into a Russo mail day, and we got an optic hanger to get into as well. But my class, my thoughts on this class, though, I'm not a really big, I'm not a big fan of it, really. I think offensively, it's just, you know, it's not really there. And on defense, it's it's fine. It's it's really good defensive draft, but I just don't think it's worth investing or paying what Panini wants us to pay. I think the money's better well spent going after 2016 stuff, or at least you know maybe buying stuff um, that. Uh, specific players that you like of eBay or what have you to go after who you think is going to break out. I just don't think it's really worth paying what they want to pay. We have eight different rookie starting quarterbacks. A lot of that was by circumstance, but it is pretty wild. We had two running backs over a thousand yards, one that led the league with the best O-line though. But we still, I think, have three other ones in DeAndre Washington, Devontae Booker, and Paul Perkins that are poised to break out. And then wide receiver-wise, you know, Michael Thomas is a stud. I think Tajay Sharp's pretty good. I like Tyler Boyd. He got over 500 yards. I think uh, Treadwell's poised to break out, even though he didn't play much. Uh, Mike Zimmer doesn't seem to play his rookies very often. It's just he's that type of coach. I think Trey Waynes is a good example of that. Josh Doxson should produce. We didn't really get to see him. Um, so there's just, I think, a lot of, you know, Sterling Shepard's another good one. Sterling Shepard, who I thought would get, you know, be their number two guy until they signed Brandon Marshall. I still think he's a really good receiver. So I just think there's a lot of, you know, offensive talent still left in the 2016 class that 17 doesn't come close to. There are some good prospects in 2017, though. So, you know, I'm not saying it's a terrible, terrible draft. I just think, you know, the, it's, I'm not ready to invest money into it yet. Not at least we kick off and get you know some games into it and see where we're at. So, but let's let me show you guys the recap. <clears throat> Thought we got some pretty cool cards. Yeah, save the hits to the side. Let's see. Got Josiah Price. We got a couple cool college ties. Chad Kelly, Laquan Treadwell. Chad being the nephew of Jim Kelly. Demarco Murray, Adrian Peterson college ties. I thought that was cool. Then we got a couple, I think, uh, you know, retired or older players. LaDainian Tomlinson, Jerry Rice, Terry Bradshaw, Joe Namath. And then our rookies, Curtis Samuel, Josh Reynolds, Traven Durrell, Patrick Mayholmes. Mayholmes might be too bad. Malik McDowell, Mike Williams. I do like Mike Williams. He reminds me of, like, Mike Evans a bit. Cordrea Tankersley, Cam Robinson, Joe Mixon, Evan Ingram, Chad Hansen, Stacey Coley, Ryan Switzer, Travis Rudolph, Corey Davis. I do like Corey Davis. I think he, I think he can do all right. He'll, he might do all right. Juju Smith-Schuster. I like him too. Tredavious White, Amara Darbo, Dalvin Cook. Cook's a good one. Cooper Cup, Jabril Peppers. I am a fan of Jabril Peppers as well. Hope Dallas can pick up someone like that. We need DB help. We really do. Gerard Davis. I loved watching him play. He is a good linebacker. Go Gators. Desmond King, number seven out of 49. Gerard Evans, Elijah McGuire, Matthew Days, Marcus Williams, Taewon Taylor, Solomon Thomas, cool James Conner, die cut, number 40 out of 99. Oh, that was pretty wild. And Josh Dobbs, Joshua Dobbs, give us some brother like that. We got, then I pulled a few out that I thought people might like. I thought Jay McGillicuddy might like this, Tom Brady, number 78, or yeah, out of 99. I thought Adam Hobb might enjoy the Marshall Falk. I know he's a Rams fan. Reminds, you know, I know Falk played for the Colts as well, but greatest show on turf. Earl Campbell. This is a pretty sweet die cut. Green, five out of five. I thought Trillinator might like that. I know he's a Texas fan, so if you want, you know, Trill, I'll send that your way for sure. And Dan Marino, Brett Favre, I thought maybe Todd would like those. I know I got, I'm going to put a care package together for him, so I might add those to it. And then we'll get to our hits here. We got a Keith Kelsley. Number 96 out of 99. Tim Williams, 45 out of 99. I think uh, D'Angelo Henderson, yep, I think 88 out of 99. Zach Cunningham, it's not numbered, but it's a base auto, pretty cool. And we got a Corey Davis, 8 out of 25. I was happy about that. 
That's a pretty cool pull, I think. So definitely makes the draft really interesting. I am a fan of that aspect. That's the reason I bought the box, just to see where these guys go, end up playing. I really enjoyed that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring it to this optic, though. <clears throat> 16 optic. Celebrating Easter with a little pack rip session here. One pack rip with 12 cards. I know Gibson Bros are working on a set for this, so I want to see if we get anything for them. I got two cards pulled for them that I know they need, so maybe we'll be able to help them out. We got Ty Gurley, Cool Braxton Miller rookie, Deion Jones, Jordan Reed, Sheldon Rankins rookie, pretty cool, Sean Davis rookie, got a nice Cody Kessler, CJ Precise, Wild Brew Wild Derek Watt, Chris Jones, Jeff Driscoll, and Hunter Henry will end that pack out there. I'll go back through a little bit later and see what we got, but in case you guys are interested, there's the cards that the Gibson Bros need for their optics set. Like I said, I got two set aside in the Chris Ivory number 49. And then a Doug Baldwin at 91. So if it will work on that, get something out to them. But now we we'll save the best for last because I'm going to get into a Russo Mail Day. Oh, yeah. And Card Father himself. Let's just check it out, guys. Uh. 101, Ricky Russo, stay close to your friends, stay closer to your enemies. <laughs> that is pretty wild. Thank you very much, Ricky. I do appreciate it. Check out the sweet Emmanuel Moutier select rookie. That thing is awesome. Thank you very much, Ricky. Wow, that is the best Moutier rookie I got. That will definitely go in. And then we got a sweet Kobe Bryant from select to add on. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Ricky. Ah, uh, yeah, guys, you gotta know, man. It's been pretty wild. It's been pretty wild what's going on lately. Hey, that's it, though, guys. I hope you guys have had a great weekend and a happy Easter. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about doing some response videos, so you might see something a little later. You might not. We'll just see, what, you know, play by ear, see what happens. We'll start off out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. And I'll see y'all at some point soon. Spud, thank you for watching.